What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Tan Every Day. Um, today we're gonna be doing um, some crafting and a little art. And I just wanted y'all to get crafty and do art filling on with me, along with me. So I'm gonna be working with quite a few things. Um, so we'll be using um, paint, coloring paint brushes. I saw these at um, General Dollar Stores. There's quite a bit of colors on here. I got orange, yellow, purple, green, you know it, um, blue, um, I like the basic main colors um, for like if you were seeing them like crayons or something or color or pencil. They are like paint brushes. Um, they kind of like this. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's like a um, kind of like a paint type of thing. Um, it's really uh, very easy to work with. Uh, and again, I got it at General Dollar Store, if I haven't mentioned that. Um, and I'm also going to be using painting my signature cover on here. Uh, this is also a chemist painting, a chemist. And this is a um, glue stick. Glue stick I'm going to use a little later. I'm going to show you. And I have like this little glue, these little pink little glitter here that I'll be using on um, the finishing touches uh, so stay along and you'll see okay let's get started uh, I I have picked out my colors we'll go with those I have picked out my colors and I got my I opened up I took the plastic off the canvas and I found this laying around the house. I thought it would be good to prep up my canvas so it would be easy so you can see what I'm doing. Precise. Uh, <clears throat> and of course, I already said I got my glitter and glue. And I got my colors. I got, I'm gonna be using purple. I'm gonna be using a little touch of black. I'm gonna be using green blue and orange and again if you didn't hear me at the beginning I am going to be doing my signature flower it's like a it's like a, ca a cactus flower that I've been drawing for like a long while now and I like to do it you know and I have the feeling it's a good feeling and it's painting and doing art period it's very relaxing for those that likes and loves to do it and also those that want to experience it if they haven't experienced it. So if you're feeling artistic right now and you want to get out some painting, if you got anything lying around, paper, pencil, crayons, if you have children, if they have any little art supplies laying around, please, please join in with me and try to draw along with me. Again, I'm not a professional. I do have art skills, um, but I'm not professional, but who knows? Surprise yourself, and I will surprise you, and I will surprise myself as well. So, come along, pick your colors, and let's dig in. I like to start out with a dark color, so I will start out with my black. <clears throat> And sometimes you want to um, either you can angle it however you want to do it. Um, so you will probably either start with the middle. So you can put it at the side, however you want to do it. You want to make it big, you make the middle bigger so you can see it more drastically and more apparent and appealing to those that are going to be looking at your artwork if you like to show it. Um, if you just want to just have fun, well, come on. So I am going to start in the middle. I'm going to do my middle part of my flower. And um, when I like to do it with a dark color, try to bring it um, out. I mean, again, I'm not a professional. I'm just explaining what I'm doing. So those that want to follow along can follow along. Um, I am going to start with <clears throat> my purple next and I'm gonna draw my first my first um help here so I would dress it out okay. 
And again, you don't have to use this type of paint, painting utensils. Um, again, I got these. These are called coloring paint brushes, I believe. And I got these from General Dollar Store. I mean, they probably somewhere else like Walmart. Um, I would definitely look around for you guys. Um, and it, with my future uh, videos that I will be posting later, I will find out and I will link some more information about these down below as well and also other videos when I do post them as well um, but yeah I'm, and then you want to go down from the from the either right here or from the darker part and like raise up little flares to make it look very art very um pop like a pop and and you will leave it right there so you can start with your next color and if you want you can leave them on lid but it'd be safe to leave uh, to have them um, lit it but if it's easier like it's easier for me right now I'm leaving them up here because I will be picking them back up um, next um, next I would like to use green for my next and I'm trying my best to make it all the way around. So um, I might start with a pattern and then end with um, a start of a new one. So just follow along. And you want to make a very ovalish round. Some of some people. Um, do it big. I mean, you could do the cat, uh, cactus flower. I like them. They come in. They come in red, green, and I seen different versions of them. So, uh, but before, before I have seen them, I've been drawing these flowers for so long, and recently I actually started to see them, and that's how I found out that it was a cactus. At first, I didn't know what kind of flower it was. I was just drawing it out of the blue, and. I thought it was so interesting so I just draw a different version of them and I will uh, show you towards the end of my video of different ones that I drawn in the past before I even knew that it was a cactus I know it sounds silly for those that <laughs> know that it is a cactus based off how I'm drawing it <laughs> but those that never seen it or seen a flower cactus before yeah I even have, for instance, I even have like a little thing right here that my husband bought me to decorate my little desk here. Um, and when I did find out that it was a cat flower, he saw that in the store. He bought it for me. I think that was so sweet. Um, but yeah, just <laughs> just bear with me. I mean, everybody don't know every single flower in the world. So, but if you do, if you if you that good with plants and stuff please share information down below and I will comment on your comments about your professional opinion about different flowers on in the world so um, and I give it to those that knows plants and even like just planting flowers now I had my share of experience when I was in high school, I'm not that old, it's just been a few years since I've been out. Um, when I was in high school, I was in different clubs like art clubs. And we had certain uh, community projects where we went to plant a different flowers on the school campus just to make it look beautiful. And <laughs> sadly to say, cactus flower was in one of them. But it was other flowers. Um, don't recall, I remember what kind of flowers. But I knew there was spring flowers, different spring flowers. And I thought that was really, really, really awesome um, to experience that when I was in um, high school. Um, now, <laughs> um, I had fun doing it. And I wouldn't mind doing it again. I was telling my daughter, my daughter, um since summer that we was gonna do our own 
our own little garden um, for the spring when the spring comes. Cause we, I'm doing her a little. I'm doing a little pre homeschool with her. Um, and I, th I think it would be awesome to try to do our little garden. And I might film so y'all can come along the journey with us. This will be our first garden, playing it together. Um, uh, and we're gonna be shopping and going to the plant area. Probably go to Lowe's, Home Depot. You know, go to their um, flower area where they sell like uh, plates and stuff uh, to get them. And yeah, we'll be I'm gonna be filming a little bit so you can see um, what plants we will get and. Uh, the seeds, I mean the seeds that we're gonna get to plant and where we're gonna plant these little um, um, <laughs> flowers at, at at our home here. So, um, so stay tuned for that in the future, near future. So, um, as you can see, I started with purple and I'm going to do um, purple again, right here. Then I'm gonna end with green. people loves to plant. I know I'm just talking about flowers <laughs> quite a bit here. I, I'm not even uh, professional in that area, but based off my experience that I just been, like I was saying about how I was in art clubs and different clubs and we did like um, community services while planting. <clears throat> so it was awesome. I, I, I wouldn't mind doing it again to be honest. If those that want to do that, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Synced in the arts. The arts. Parts of this. And it's very. And I love these. I recommend these. I really do. Once again, I got them at general dollar store um and i it is easy it's kind of like you um drawing with a pencil but it, at the end is a paintbrush and it feels so glazy like like and it's very easy to control i know some people are not professional painters when it comes down to paint brushes per se but these will actually help you so when you actually do paint with paint paints and paint brushes again I think you would be a pro I think this will help I really do um, now this is gonna be the little tricky part here <clears throat> to do the layers um, I must start here like this is my orange and I'm gonna start my orange up here it's gonna be the back plant and it's gonna be like that you could just do like the, the curve so we curve into, and we want to blend a little bit into the lines because we want to make it like a flower. See? <laughs> um, so, here we go. Um, and these, the black flowers, we are not going to quite see the flares. We just made me do the little, the top of the flares, okay? Um, if you want. But you can leave it blank. Um, so you don't like overly do it a lot and my next one of course is going to be blue so I'm going to do my blue over here okay and again you want to curve and yes it's going and, and, and you can be festive make it look like it's going off the page you know just to make it look beautiful that's why I, I think it makes it look beautiful and again you can do like the top of the flares but not so much okay so we want it to what look beautiful okay so um and also sometimes i um if i could go back with the purple um right here sometimes i do this i don't know if anybody else does but sometimes i go to the top of the tips and kind of make uh, a reversal flares 
that go down. I call them flares because they look like little flames on the on the petals. <laughs> so if you get what I mean. Um, and then on the ones that like it going off the page, you could just do the tips just like you would do on the inside, just to make it pop. Um, um, and then just like I'm gonna do here, you know. And it don't have to be uh, perfect. Now, if you're a beginner drawing this type of flowers, hey, you're you really artistic right now. Just go with the. Okay. Painting supposed to be fun. For those that doesn't like it, well, this is a good way of you falling in love with it. I put it like that, you know? So, just follow along with me. And, and for those that um, love painting, I hope I'm doing you just. <laughs> and... Especially for those that know what they're doing, I'm hoping I'm doing you just as well. Because <laughs> again, like I said, I'm kidding. I'm not a professional, but I am familiar with drawing this flower a lot. So um, bear with me. And you see how I'm making it pop some more? I'm gonna lift it a little bit so you can see. Um, and we're gonna go around and the next color you will see of my pattern I started with orange over here and I'm gonna go blue here then here I'm gonna do purple okay so here we go so um then the next color is orange. Once again, <laughs> orangey, <laughs> as you can say. Now, um, actually, it will be green. It will be green next after purple. I'm so sorry. Green. So you would take your green and you would do like a, a bowl. make it very pretty then next we would do orange <laughs> at the green so and next the last but not least blue blue be look like it's going off the page okay. and then as you can see you see the flower now for those that um likes to color theirs in you can you can if you want to I will do a very light because you don't want to, um, how you say, um, mess it up. Okay, we're going to do it like this. Okay? Um, you see, like, we did the pattern, right? For this one, we'll say for the purple, we're going to do the next color before the purple. Like, the next color was green. So, we're going to color this part in green. So, I have my green. Those have the green pencil crayon, however, if you have one of these paint or paint brushes, just glazely in the middle, the middle, thing, just glazely. And you want to make it feel like you're making, again, little fly, fly, fire bites, but you just glaze, 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 okay? Glaze, and you want to make it look like you're filling it in just perfectly okay and make sure not to cover over your flares just color in between as much as possible on those tight 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 but you want it to look kind of like this okay and then um 
just again for this one, it will be orange, okay? Orange here. Because you want your flares to pop, so you have to use a color that's not the same, okay? I mean, now I am gonna, I'm planning on doing this again in the future, and I would explain how I do it with the same color later, um, the whole thing. But for now, I thought it was special to do different colors. Like for this one, the orange one will be um, blue. Orange one will be blue. And, uh, and you know, follow along very fast. And be very careful, again, not to cover your flares. You want it to blend. You want it to like it's on top, flaring up. So you can see the beautiful flower as it is, okay? Because you know, can canvas is, yeah. And as you can see, as it go, and we want to blaze the edge just a bit, you know, and make sure you don't overdress the, you know, the areas that you need the color at. Um, <clears throat> So, like for the blue, the blue will be purple. And I can purple is green. <laughs> this one here, orange. You see this one? It's blue. So the orange. You see how it's coming together? And then on the blue, again, it's purple. Okay. Be careful tonight because I know this purple, this other purple is next to it. And we're just going to like leave a little blank little space there. So it's kind of separating it just a little bit. So it kind of is on the wall. And then purple again, purple is green. Again, it's the green next to them, so we most likely separate it here just a tad bit. So, um, and then again, right here, uh, this is green, so the green is what orange for those that was following along I know <laughs> it's like it's every other color ma'am <laughs> so yes it's every other color and we want to make sure we have like a little separation here um just to, just because I mean you could you can make it as close as possible you can I'm just gonna do mine like this the orange again is blue. And again, be careful not to cover over your flares. Because the flares are very important. Okay? And again, 
here, the blue is purple. Again, separate, because I know the purple is next on the other side. Voila. Now, to make the little design that I normally do, uh, I, I know I never did this with you guys before, but I, how I do it is I kind of like make a little curve. That's what I was saying about making a, make it, using, using, sorry, using black a little bit, because this is what I was going for here. Okay. And some people don't do this. I mean, it's just my signature flower here. And and you can add a little pop of color if you want. Like green. I say green. You know, because this, this is just the way. I want to draw the stem like, okay, and there you go. Now, some people start by doing the background. This is just the flower itself that we are drawing today. So, you can frame it, put it on the wall, make it um, your desk piece, however you, however you want to do it. But, as you can see, I hope you guys like it. And next, we're going to be doing the drum. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. Here we go. This is how you will do the drum sticks. You can take the two of the colors that you like. Since I got her pink and purple for her, I will do, and I have a little touch of, yeah, for her drumstick. So, I will do two pink drumsticks for her to match her drum. I don't have a purple skull. I mean, if you have purple skulls, or if you're doing purple, whatever, do it. Okay, you see how long they is? You see this part right here? I mean, you could get scraped. Um, it's better to get scraped one so you don't have to cut if you don't want to. But I am going to cut. Okay? So, uh, make sure I have my my scissors. <laughs> so, excuse me. <laughs> Got my scissors, so I'm gonna cut this part out so I make sure they're even. And voila! Hands, children, kids, size, drumsticks. So there you go, you have it. And you can decorate it if you want to. Um, scratching paper, glitter, tip tops, you can. It's up to you. Let's get it. Okay, guys, we're going to be doing the drum. Pop, 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 drum. Um, we're going to be using these as the sticks. I'll show you how to do that second. Uh, first, we're going to do the out layer on round, make it decorated, you know. So, um, we take the lid off. Take the lid off. <laughs> and. I already cut up my two papers, um, as you can see. Uh, I tried your best, because I did not try your best to make it even somehow. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to, as long as it looks like it's part of the drum. And what we want to do is put some glue, some, some of this um, glue on the paper, and then want to stick it to the can, as you can see here, okay? 
Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing with this paper. Glue. Hopefully I have enough glue. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna stick it to this paper. And then on the edges of the paper, if you feel like it's not sticking, um, I will take either some rub glue or something like that um, to make it feel like it's sticking good enough. Or if you have enough of this sticky glue, <laughs> just put it on the edge and just hold it down. Um, sometimes even glue like this will work um, for the just the paper part. Now, um, now, if you're trying to do, just take a little bit, take a little bit, and just, I'm just gonna put it on the edges here, okay? Just for them to stick down, okay? I want it to stick down. We want it to stick down. And we're gonna do the other side here, on this side, we want it to stick down, so, I know this is unprofessional. I I didn't have to. I forgot to pick up me a little brush. I normally do it with a brush um, to glaze it. Um, <laughs> um, this is just a little quick fix <laughs> here. But it's supposed to look like this, as you can see. Um, don't worry about the see through. We're going to still use our markers to decorate. Uh, you could do anything. You could color, make it a rainbow. It don't have to be perfect. This is something that you are making for your kiddos. Um, you can make multiple ones. Now this can, where I got this can from, I got it because my daughter, she's on Ella Care uh, Junior Milk. So the can of it. Um, I The old cans that empty. I literally of keeping one to do this okay so um, if those that want to make that little airy sound you could get cotton cotton balls or um, if you have like um, even I think even paper will do anything that's very airy and light that you want to put in just like you would do like a big big boom drum put a pillow in there it's kind of like gonna be like a little pillow to make the airy sound that we want for when the drum sticks that we're gonna be making hit it, okay? Um, but we got this, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the top back on, and then we're gonna start our little drawing. You could draw anything you want, something I remind you of your kiddo, um, anything like that. Let's make sure we put our glue um, lids back on, or just set it to the side, you know. Just make sure it's not in your way of you trying to draw. So, here we go. Now, don't use the colors. If you have the paper, like I'm doing pink and purple, don't use pink and purple for your drawing. I am going to do black. black. And I'm just going to probably draw the flower again. I mean, hey, I like to draw it. And... gonna probably be a different version of it I mean if it does right some sometimes the markers and might do right they might not so I might just to be okay just a minute, I am going back to these because I already can tell I don't like how it's turning out but <laughs> here we go we got some extras to save today okay do your best on drawing. It's gonna be different version of this flower. This is something festive. 
Now I might color them in with some colors. I'm thinking about red. Is it mostly red anyway? It's not gonna be all perfect, you know what? This is just something that I'm doing. Something nice. I mean, you can also make it perfect. I mean, if you want to make it something this could go as a Christmas. I mean, this is Christmas holidays. This is Christmas times. So if you want, you can do it like that. Where you're making this very pretty and then you wrap it up, put in a gift bag and make it a gift. That'd be so nice. I think your kiddos would probably love this. And they would be like, oh, mommy. You know? <laughs> and that's something. And you could draw hearts. Now I'm now I'ma draw a heart on the purple part and it's gonna be probably in blue or or green, I mean blue. I could do like a half blue, half green. It don't have to be perfect. I mean we just having fun. <laughs> We're just having fun here. Okay. And I'm going to color mines in red. For those that think, I think that's perfect. And you can leave those other lines that surround it from the glue. It could be like a little style. You know, you can leave it as it is. Um, now, the, uh, to the other part that I want to do, let me put my lids on my, my markers. I want to get the glue. If I can, I have the uh, noodles. Noodles, I know I open it backwards. <laughs> But it's the pan one noodles. They say these are the good ones to use when you're doing crafting stuff. I saw it online. <laughs> not, I mean, this is not my opinion. Those for those that were that liked it to use this type of glue. I mean, you can use. I mean, I mean this type of noodles. Noodles. I say glue. I mean noodles, y'all. <laughs> Stick with me. Stick with me. And. I thought, I was like, okay, well, it's like this little arts and craft thing, this little necklace thing that we were supposed to be doing for homeschooling because we use an ABC mouse for her. And I thought that was so cool that they said, had put that on the instructions, you know, because sometimes you don't know what noodles to use for stuff like that. It was a necklace and I might show you guys. Okay, we're gonna do this. Let's do this. Yeah. And put them close together, kind of close together like this. Um, to just just around the edge part. It don't have to be close to the bottom. And I'm only gonna use um, a few. I mean, I want to go all the way around. I might go all the way around. We're just going with the flow. <laughs> And dab some glue on the piece of paper or however you just to keep from being messy. Because this is a messy project. I'm there with you. It's just like doing those kids projects. And they ask you for help and stuff. And they come home with all this supplies and stuff that they got from school. And they be like, Mommy, Mommy, uh, we thought to be doing this. Um, they saw this and we need some help. And you start doing the project getting carried away. And they over there playing with their toys. <laughs> I'm like, well, hey, wait, you supposed to be over here doing it. You're getting crazy. You're going to have to explain how you did this, how you did that. So you want to work with me, you know. You know, carry the kids to work with you because it's fun. It's fun. I am going to do one of these type of projects with my daughter. Um, and I think that would be fun to make some more drums. <laughs> I bet she'd be good to have two miniature bumble drums. Just patting away on her with her sticks in hand and hands. Sticks in hand. Because <laughs> we're going to make sticks too. <laughs> so, I think it'd be awesome. And, um, yeah. I, 
I'm so glad I'm doing this with you guys. My YouTubes, my YouTubies, my 10, 10 tubes. I was like, 10 tubes. <laughs> I'm gonna come up with a catchy name <laughs> for you guys, as y'all probably come up with a catchy name for me, huh? As y'all get to know me. We can have fun along the way. And y'all all gonna be coming my part of the family. I'm gonna be family after a while. You get me? <laughs> so just love the opportunity to share my art skills. I'm not professional once again. Um make this all blue down. Um, this is just something fun to do get our hands dirty just like when cooking now I am going to be having cooking videos I know I didn't mention that in my intro but like I said I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything that's why it's called my channel is called 10 because I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything and including with these hands <laughs> with these hands like cooking, um, making more arts and craft things, the core stuff for your homes. Um, and if any of those that are of Pinterest, and if you have Pinterest, I do have Pinterest. You can you can find me. Um, it will be TB Johnson on there. Um, and then you go to my boards, you will see 10 everything. Um, I will be posting some pictures in that in that um in those with those pins so you can see and then you can also tag in along with that and get some more and i think this will be very good to do with your kiddos is a family thing i mean this is a good time to do lots of things together as a family during the holidays and I'm also going to be having a gingerbread man video coming up. I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything. And it's not just going to be Christmas stuff. Um, that'll probably be in the later future where I'm doing like all Christmas things. Um, but I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything. A little whatnot stuff and and um, ornaments. Um, I'm going to do Christmas stuff. It's going to be a mixture of things for this month and so far on um, so I'm gonna put this there and here's the finished touches um, I mean it has to dry <laughs> I mean you can put some more around there um, let's turn it around put some more on this end <clears throat> this is awesome look at this very nice it's gonna be awesome. What you think? <laughs> what y'all think? Hmm? She's gonna love this. She's gonna love this. My daughter gonna love this. And y'all kiddos gonna love it too. Whether you have a boy or girl. You got boys, do boy, boy colors. Um, and, and if you're very festive and you wanna color your noodles, my advice do food dyeing with uh, water vinegar and i think i think if you put salt in there i might i might just do one so you can see everything how the steps to do those um that might be one of our videos where we do that um i am going to be having gay challenges challenge challenges <laughs> sorry um that i'm be oh that i'm be planning on doing I'm going to have to let it dry that I'm lifting it up. <laughs> I'm lifting it up and it's falling. I'm lifting it. <laughs> okay. let's, let's keep it down. How about that? Let's keep it down. As you can see, I am going to lift it just one more time. You see it? All right. You see it? You see my little art? Let's turn it around just a bit. Hope it don't fall. You see, you see it now. I mean, hey, 
<laughs> this is something kid appealing. <laughs> kid appealing. It's not for adult appealing. It's kid appealing. They will love it. Like, oh, it's so pretty. They will love it. Just do it. Put your heart and soul in it. Do it, and you'll be surprised. Uh, so, again, look forward to these type of things. Um, um, so, so we have our um, drum and our flower. So, keep tuned, you guys. Okay, you guys, while our drum is over here drying, we're going to do the finishing touches on our flower here. We're going back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> so, this, you know, we're going to take the glue stick and just do it on the places that you want the glitter to go and fall on. So, I mean, hey, you can do it on the edges of the flower. You could do it on the blank spaces. I mean, however you want. And what we're gonna do is any color glitter that you have at home. It could be nail glitter, however. I mean, be festive. And just let the glitter fall in. You want it. How you do with the bacon <laughs> you're baking your cake as you can see it's supposed to be glittery and you can take some more I mean get some more glue in there if you want and then take some glitter off the bottom of the thing and just visit it on and then I want you to see the glitter the glitter I mean, you don't have to glitter it. I mean, you don't have to glitter it. But once we get the, you go to the store and you buy your um, frame to put it in, um, my advice, go to Dollar Tree because this is where I got mine at. I mean, go to the place where you got your canvases at and look over there by the picture area uh, where they have like um, picture frames and see which one. Take, uh, take uh, one that you haven't bought yet. Take one of those um, canvases and try to um, see if it fits. Try to match it with the size of it. So you make sure you get the right one for your canvas. And then what you do, you put it in there. And then please, y'all, take some pictures, post it. Um, I have Twitter. I have, um, um, I also have Pinterest. Please go on there. Take a picture of it, post it on there, and link me to it. Um, or you can link it down at the bottom with your comments. It don't matter. I would love to see how you did. Because, I mean, how do you think I did? <laughs> Here we go. Here's both of them, you guys. You like them? <laughs> so... I mean, you could do all of these type of things with your children, or you could do it by yourself just to vent, you know. Oh, vent along with me on my channel. So, so I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> and please, share the video is setting right. So you can see my face. <laughs> so I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to Tan Everything um, please tune back again when you can because there's more to come more to come so thank you wishes to next